Welcome to Together in Style. Today in my kitchen, I'm gonna share with you a fantastic recipe for a corn chowder. This can be a traditional soup, but I've added my spin on it to kind of spice it up and modernize things. I absolutely love comfort food this time of year. So there's some simple ingredients that I'm just gonna to put together and share with you how to make this delicious chowder. So for the next process, we're just going to add these main ingredients, the corn and the potatoes, chop them up and get started on the rest of everything. So I'm just chopping them up into little bite-sized pieces and trying to make them all about uniform so they all cook about the same level together. So now we have the red potatoes and now for the white potatoes. And you can even feel when you're cutting them that they definitely will have a lot of different textures to them when we bite into them. So now that we have our potatoes cut up in the same size, or about the same size anyway, um, I'm gonna put these to the side and we're gonna just cut up the rest of the corn. Now, as far as cutting corn off of a cob, um, I find it easiest to use a pie plate and just put the corn um, just in the center and that way when you're going down, you don't have to worry about how it's spilling out. So now that we have all of our veggies chopped up, we have six ears of corn, we have uh, 28 ounces of finely chopped um, multicolored potatoes, we have a medium sized onion, I have four celery stalks, and we have two cups of baby kale. So those are our ingredients and now it's time to uh, start our soup. So now the fun begins, I just melted one stick of butter and it's just about ready to now take four pieces of bacon that I've just chopped into little bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna put that in there as well. Good. And just separate them out. Bacon and butter, mmm, quite a combo. <laughs> bound to be delicious. Fantastic. Okay, so now that the bacon is just nicely spread out in the pan so it can brown a little bit and start to crisp up, I'm also going to add in the onions so they can soften up and get a little bit more transparent. and then just keep stirring them all together. So I've been keeping a watchful eye on everything. I don't want anything to burn. I just want everything to be nice and crisp, but not too, too overcooked. And I think at this point, I can start to add the rest of my vegetables. So I'm gonna take our little pieces of um, celery and just put those in, so the four stalks. And then give them a little mix around. Perfect. And we'll add all of our corn. I can't believe it's the end of the season. So this is about the last of the fresh corn. And now our potatoes. So now that we've added all of the vegetable ingredients, I'm just gonna give it a nice stir and get it well coated with the bacon and the butter and the nice softened pieces of onion. Oh, look at that beautiful medley of vegetables. I mean, that's gonna be an amazing feast inside our soup. So let me now add in our chicken stock. So I did leave out the kale. I'm gonna wait till the end um, after we boil this, and that way the kale stays nice and firm. This is six cups of chicken stock. And now I'm gonna add in a half a cup of just white wine, a Chardonnay or a Sauvignon Blanc, something that's not sweet. I have a cup of half and half. And I do want to add a little bit of sweetness, so I'm going to add in 
about a tablespoon of honey. Perfect. And now time for the actual herbs. So I'm gonna take the herbs de Provence. So I do have um, a tablespoon of that. And then salt and pepper. I have uh, two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper. I'm gonna add that in for now, but then after I boil everything, I'm just gonna add probably a little bit more to taste. I happen to like a lot of pepper in my soup, so we'll just see how far this goes and then we'll uh, take it from there. So now all I'm going to do is just bring this mixture up to a nice boil. Let's turn that up just a little bit. And then we'll check on it in about 20 minutes. So after bringing the chowder to a boil, I let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Now that all the veggies are cooked, all the potatoes, I'm, I'm gonna add the baby kale. So the two cups of baby kale, I'm just gonna add that in there and stir it around. Now, I know that everybody has their own ideas of how they like their chowders. Some people happen to like their chowders a little less thick. Other people like them a little more thick. Um, I recommend that you use just a quick mixing flour. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit and then stir it around good to get the consistency that I'd like to have. All right, it doesn't take very long for the baby kale just to wilt nicely. So I think at this point, we are ready to serve. So let me bring it over to our bowls and get a taste. Perfect. So now we can ladle this in. This looks so delicious. Our bowls. All the different colored potatoes are so pretty. And that fresh corn, I'm so sad to see this season go. But I'm very happy for this nice chowder. So now that I've gotten those nice veggies, and you know me, I said that I love pepper, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra pepper to the top of mine. And also I know my husband, he loves pepper too on his. Oh, the moment I've been waiting for. This is the first soup of the season. I just wanna get a little bit of everything on my spoon. Mmm. Perfect, perfect blend of sweet and savory. Absolute comfort food. I hope you try this recipe this fall and enjoy life together in style.